I have the Serato FX expansion pack. If you haven't seen the previous video, go check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below. But I now have the expansion pack, so I'm gonna go through the rest of the features I couldn't go through in the previous video. So if we have a look back at the Serato DJ Pro release notes, let's go from top to bottom and actually look at the stuff fully now. So the first thing is experience a full suite of new effects. Powerful custom built enhancements are here. Dive into mix with high quality effects you know and love now significantly upgraded and carefully crafted by Serato. So we are going to go through every single effect that they have in this upgrade. So if we go back to Serato now, I'm gonna load a track on the deck and I'm gonna apply the effects to order to track. If you're interested in my CB music pack, check the link in the description down below, it's completely free. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on Afrobeats track five onto deck one. Then we're gonna bring up the effects panel. So, this has been revamped, like I said in the previous video, but now with the FX expansion, if I click this, we have a whole new batch of effects and we're gonna go through every single one in this video. So we're gonna start from the top, um, so you lot can hear it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the delay on first and then turn that on on my Rev 1. So we're gonna play Afrobeats track five and let's have a let's listen to the effect. Right, so that's the delay, that's cool. Uh, the next one is Echo, everyone knows an Echo. That's at one beat, so let me take that down just to half a beat, um, and let's do that again. Nice. Your standard Echo effect, that's cool. So we've got low cut Echo, which is brand new, so let's try this. Hmm. Not sure I like that one, but let's carry on. A multi tap delay. Hmm. You lot might like that one. Uh, multi tap delay, that's that. Ping pong delay. See, that's, that's, a, that's a good echo. I like that one. I do like that one. So let's go to Spiral Echo. That's a good echo. That's a good echo. Let me, do you know what? Let me change to a house track. Um, I'm gonna load house track five on here. Um, try this. Sounding all right, you know, sounding all right. Um, like I said, people, if you want these tracks completely free, check the link in the description down below. Okay, so version echo, let's try this. Mm, that's all right. Okay, now, so that's all the delay and echoes. Now on to Bit Crush. So. sure about that. Bit crash, so distortion, we had this in the previous video. Not sure, there's a bit, yeah. <laughs> Low fi crush. All right, low fi warmth. It's quite standard. Sizzle Crush. All right, okay, so that's all the distortion ones done. So now to filter, combo filter. All right, it's a nice little filter there. Let me put on a hip hop track. So hip hop track three. So HPF. All right, that's all right. We already have that already in the previous Serato version. Uh, Infinity filter. Let's just move this up a bit. All right, <laughs> LFO filter. Okay, um, LPA, uh, LPF. So that's just 
just your standard filter, that's cool. And then Y filter. All right, cool. So that's another, that's all the filters done. Whew, there's a lot of effects in here. So looper. So we've got repeater. I do like that one, you know. I might have to start using that one. I do like that one. Okay, retro halftime. All right, cool, that speed, that slows it down. Okay, let's chuck on hip hop track five. Sounds a bit mad, but you might be able to use that in one of your DJ mixes, so. We've got roll. So that's like your roll effect in Serato, that's all right. Um, slip roll. All right, cool. You know what, it's good that Serato have brought in all these brand new effects now, man. I right, start a repeater. Well, I'm not really sure what that does there. So, start a roll. Okay, right now on to modulation. So chorus, basic. Hmm. Nothing's really going on when I'm changing these effects. So let's try and move that other beat. Okay, nothing on chorus basic. Chorus chord. Oh yeah. Okay. Falling flanger. All right, cool. Flanger. Cool. Infinity flanger. Cool. Transformer. Phaser. Cool. Pulse spiral. Cool. Spiral. Transform. Nice effect, I can use that. Tremolo, this was in the previous video. All right, break. So now we're on the out effects, which a lot of DJs will use. So we've got break echo. Standard effect. We've got break rewind. Okay, that could be used, you know. Um, what else we got? Uh, breaker. Um, clean echo out. Every single DJ is gonna use this one. Clean roll out. Combo fade echo. Echo out. Every DJ is going to use that effect. Epic Stretch Rewind. There's so many effects in there. Let's change back to Afrobeats. Let's go to Afrobeats track three. Nice, okay. Um, roll out. Oh yeah, that's a nice effect. I like that, I like that, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. <laughs> Short break echo. Cool, a slow roll out. That could be used, that could be used. Turntable break. 
Cool. Then we've got the last few now, so Bright Reverb. Cool. Empty Mole Verb. Then we've got Epic Reverb. Then we've got Epic Reverb Drop. That could be used. I could use that one. Next door verb. Cool. Reverb. Cool. So we've got vast reverb. Cool. And we got vast verb drop. Cool. Alright, alright, alright. Then the last two, Infinity Tone. That could be used for like a build up or a drop. And then we got Space Invader. I mean, I don't know if I'd ever use that one, but so that was all the 50 plus effects that was on the brand new update. But now in the next bit, you can create your own signature sound with custom effects. So first time it's right with DJ, take full control over your effects, ex exclusively available to suite, expansion and FX holders, create, save, name and manage an unlimited amount of custom prefix, uh, presets. So we go back, um, if you see here, we now have this uh, cog icon. So if I click that, I can now, adjust the settings um, to how I want them. So let's change, well, let's go to, I don't know, epic, epic reverb, right? What I can do is I could change the decay on this. So if I turn that on, so I turn that on, I can take down the contour. All right, and then the width I can bring down. Mix mode send. All right. So then with that, what I can do is save that as a new effects prefix. So I'm going to put epic reverb CD. Save that. Then I think now if I come out of this window, I can now see this in my user uh, drop down, which is good. So basically you can go to any of the effects and customize them how you want So you don't have to keep adjusting it during your DJ set Which is a really good feature that they've added into Serato. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot So obviously you can play around with all your different effects You can you can save all your banks with your custom effects and stuff like that. That's really good The last thing on this is enhanced view mode explore a redesigned interface with advanced parameters Designed to enhance your control and flexibility utilize a slim view for more library viewing. So I think I went through that before. So this is the slim view, and then I'm guessing this is the advanced view, and then this is the normal view. So that's good, man. This is really, do you know what? When I first downloaded the update, I wasn't too convinced, but then I didn't realize you had to have the actual FX expansion, but now I have the FX expansion, I can see how powerful this is. So yeah, so that is me going through the full Serato 3.2 changes with the expansion pack. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.